So let's look at the Chelsea side they face today. They stand one off the bottom of the first division with a gap of four points opening up from the team above them. And it's a young Chelsea side with newcomers Eamon Bannon, age 20, John Sitton, 19, Mickey Nutton, also 19, and the substitute Jim Doherty, newly arrived from East Stirling, the substitute, he's 22. No room for Peter Osgood or for Duncan McKenzie. And indeed, here is Eamon Bannon, Scotland under-21 player from Heart of Midlothian, who scored at Bolton last week. Eamon, a midfield man. Meanwhile, Liverpool, they're unchanged on a ground where they lost in both the FA Cup and First Division last season. Alan Hansen and Jimmy Case are not included, although they are fit to play in the reserves today. Phil Thompson keeps his place in the defence. David Fairclough is the substitute. One family wrote to me this week saying that they'd named their new dog Dalgleish after Kenny Dalgleish. Well, I hope that dog's a whippet because Kenny is so quick and elusive and red-hot right now. He's already got 16 goals to his credit this season. The referee today is Tony Glasson from Salisbury. And now we're ready for a match between the team at the top and one so desperately close to the bottom. So away we go then. Chelsea attacking the goal to our left in an all strip of blue with white socks. Liverpool all in red. If you're watching in black and white, then Chelsea have slightly the darker strip. But watch out for those white socks. And what a ferocious test then for this young Chelsea side. Talking to Danny Blanchfell, the Chelsea manager before the game, he was hard put to it to find a side that had been more formidable over the years than Liverpool have been. He mentioned Manchester United way back and his great Tottenham side way back. But for sheer consistency, well, this Liverpool side over the years really takes some beating. Ray Clements. David Johnson heading it on. That was uh, Nutton getting the touch there for Chelsea. And the ball back here now with David Stride. And the first touch as a Chelsea player for Peter Barotta. Walker played such a prominent part in that cup defeat of Liverpool last season. Phil Neal playing it in now for Dalglish. One of those lovely characteristic turns of his, but a good and a quick interception by Graham Wilkins. Harris. Ray Wilkins, who's got to play a big part, a real class player in this Chelsea side. Harris playing in front of the Chelsea back line. Neil just a little too strong there on stride and a free kick. Ray Wilkins. Harris with Dalglish trying to stop him. Harris going all the way. And there might be something here yet for Chelsea. Oh, my word, and Langley put it against the post in the end after great work between uh, Wilkins and Langley and a certain amount of confusion in that Liverpool defence. And it was Langley who it certainly from this angle appeared to hit Clements's post with Clements with no chance really of making a save. Understanding there between Sitton and Barotta, indicating that they, of course, not played together before. Barotta came a long way for it, but Sitton prepared to take it into his own hands, or rather, with his head for the corner, which Highway is now going to take for Liverpool. And the header, well, somehow Kennedy got a beautiful header in there. I think it probably bounced off uh, the goalkeeper. Good corner and a swooping header by Kennedy. Stride, not much space, but he made very good use of it. Finding Wilkins. Allen, well forward. Wilkins keeping that in play beautifully, Ray Wilkins, for Chelsea. Stanley. Wilkins now finding Walker. Now, can he do something against Neil? The crowd thought there was an obstruction by the Liverpool defender. The referee thought otherwise. McDermott now sending Dalgleish on his way. Look at the keeper right out. My word, that could have been disastrous for Perotta. That could have been the most embarrassing moment. The impetuousness, really, of him coming right out there. It was never going to be his ball. 
and Dalglish could really have made him look silly. But uh, a defender rescued him, and Barotta breathes again. Here's the corner, Dalglish with it. McDermott crossing it in, and Barotta's ball. My word, what a red face he would have had if Dalglish could have planted that into an empty net. Bannon to Langley. Stanley off in chase, but Hughes is there. Well, misunderstanding now at the other end. Between those two Liverpool men, Ray Clements and Emlyn Hughes, Langley looked as though he might cause a bit of problem, uh, a few problems there for Liverpool. Clements came out. Whether Hughes didn't hear his call, I don't know. But Hughes headed it away, and it's a corner. smile Got a bit of pain there too from Emlyn Hughes and a corner for Chelsea Clive Walker with it and Ray Kennedy away as far as Ron Harris Walker in there Sunis hooking it away and that's going to be a Chelsea throw Nutton, a long ball forward to Langley, but it was Phil Thompson who won that in the air. McDermott playing it back to Neil. It's a rousing performance by Chelsea. They're in no way allowing Liverpool to settle at the moment. Now Harris versus Johnson. A good old-fashioned shoulder charge. But it seems neither the referee or linesman enjoyed that. And in fact, Tony Glasson is calling, I don't know whether it's David Johnson or Ron Harris. He's calling Ron Harris to him. See one or two people in the crowd in the background not happy with that. But a yellow card for Ron Harris. For the incident just there. It's the old thing when one Liverpool player gets into trouble, there's always somebody that seems to help him out, but Stride has got the legs of McDermott there. Good skill. And a lovely pass by David Stride that finds Ray Wilkins. Tommy Langley. And really Chelsea going well at the moment without having great thoughts that they might be able to break this Liverpool side down, but certainly conceding nothing. Really a question of just how far their enthusiasm will take them before their lack of experience finds them out. David Stride here with the throw. Yes, he leaves it for his skipper, Ray Wilkins. Walker. Langley back to Wilkins. Now Harris. And a shot on goal, just wide. Well, that was a nice move with Chelsea, and Ray Wilkins, who is in sparkling form at the moment for them, setting that up for Harris to drive it a yard and a bit wide of Ray Clements's goal. So in the last ten minutes of the first half, with out a goal so far, but Chelsea, I think, for all that, would be well satisfied with the way they've come here today and they've really taken on these league leaders and they've got a corner there off Phil Thompson Mike Walker with it Sitton's come up in there and Langley's in there and oh, for a moment Clements yes you look at the face <laughs> he didn't know where it was and he knew he had a bit of luck there did uh, Ray Clements soon as Alan Kennedy Long searching ball there. Dalglish might be in there. Borata did uh, well there. What a beautiful ball from Kennedy. Always searching in there. 
for the likes of Kenny Dalglish. And it looked for a moment as though Dalglish might just nick in there, but Barotto, the Yugoslav keeper, very bravely out. Time to pause and reflect now for the Yugoslav. He's 27 years old on Monday. And it's John Sitton who needs a bit of treatment now. So we come to the last five minutes of the first half. Where Chelsea have run and chased and competed superbly, really, against Liverpool. We still have the feeling, though, that if anybody is going to put a move together and nick a goal, it will be Liverpool. But it's goalless at the moment. Wilkins. McDermott. Wilkins. Now Langley. Might be interesting. The angle's not going to be easy for him, and so he had to turn it back. Gary Stanley in there, and Stanley might get a chance to play it back. What a pity for Chelsea that was. It looked as though Stanley might be able to play it back for Bannon, and had he done that, then it would have been a formality for Bannon. Liverpool, again uncharacteristic in all sorts of troubles there. Langley doing a good job and Stanley taking it up but Liverpool getting it away in the end for the corner Walker with that corner floated in there oh, and against the post oh, and off the line and down goes Ray Clements well how close can you get the woodwork again and it was Eamon Bannon who crushed a shot against it and when it came out Liverpool not knowing where they were it was Gary Stanley with the shot that Liverpool blocked on the line. And there's no doubt about it that Chelsea have done well. They've carried the battle to Liverpool. And they are well deserving to be on terms as we come towards half-time. In fact, apart from that heart-stopping moment when Borota came out of his goal and it looked for a moment as though Dalglish might have an empty goal to shoot at. It's Chelsea who have twice hit the woodwork, Langley and Bannon. And the crowd are rising on that far side to Chelsea and to Ron Harris, I suggest, in particular, who's had a brilliant first half. The old man amongst all these youngsters, but it's his enthusiasm really that has spread right through this Chelsea team. And they've uh, never given Liverpool one moment to settle down and play their own very effective game. So, a lot still to come on the big match today, and a half time score here at Stamford Bridge that reads Chelsea nil, Liverpool nil. We'll be back with a second half. back to Stamford Bridge then. Liverpool now attacking the goal to our left. Chelsea are the team wearing the white socks and Johnson, uh, well, what a sensational start that might have been to the second half. In fact, the feet of Johnson were too high on Barotta as he came out. It's a free kick, but nonetheless, a brave piece of goalkeeping right at the start of the second half by this Yugoslav. Kennedy. Dalglish has a little touch, and Kennedy, and now Dalglish, and a good piece of goalkeeping. Well, he's given a goal kick, but I'm sure in my mind that uh, the keeper, in fact, got a touch to that. Well, maybe I was wrong, but uh, certainly Dalglish was lining that up to curl that in by the far post. I got the impression that Barotta got down very quickly, certainly, and may have got a touch to put it past the post. Well, in any case, it's a free kick but also an illustration of how quick the reflexes of this Yugoslav keeper are. Now 
can Walker pick this one up? Can Langley get in there? Well, it required just a little more than Tommy Langley could give it. But uh, certainly Liverpool looking just a little bit unhappy there as that move developed. The long high ball that fell for Langley and he was suddenly in and behind that Liverpool defence. That doesn't happen often. But he couldn't turn and find a shot to beat Clements. Harris, Langley. Stride has had a really good game for Chelsea so far this afternoon. Thompson. Harris. Wilkins, Walker again lurking down that left touchline, and uh, Wilkins has found him. It's a quick across this time, and Kennedy was keen to put, and uh, anxious to put that behind. Good burst by Walker, well picked out by Wilkins. And Kennedy did what was safe for Liverpool, giving Chelsea the corner. With coming up to ten minutes of the second half gone, Sittens up there on the goal line. Well, it might come. Clements pouring that one away. Ray Wilkins in there, claiming a handball, but he got no takers as far as referee and linesman were concerned. Gary Stanley's in there. Liverpool massing in defence to get it away. And they've given it away. Another corner. So, Chelsea, with the momentum going their way at the moment, the corner comes swinging in there. Harris with the shots! Corner from uh, Ray Wilkins swinging mercilessly in there and uh, causing Liverpool a few problems. Clements getting up there to fist it away. Harris with the shot. Highway, Ray Kennedy. Now Dalglish, an offside flag on the far side. An offside flag. Nothing will count. Nothing will count. Go it, Kenny, but it won't count. <laughs> no. <laughs> the whistle had gone. The whistle had gone a long, long time before. And I think it's got to come back again because Tony Glasson's not happy from the exact position where the free kick was taken. That's the Liverpool bench. Maybe Fairclough the substitute there. And at the end, Bob Paisley, Liverpool manager. Soon it's being called to referee Tony Glass, and he's going to get a yellow card. Hurrying times for the Chelsea chairman, Brian Mears, there, bottom left. Just across the gangway, I've no doubt we shall have John Smith, the Liverpool chairman. Yes, on the outside is Peter Robinson, the secretary. Next to him, talking, is John Smith, the Liverpool chairman. Bannon. Harris. Wilkins. Oh, the back heel by Ray Wilkins to Ray Kennedy. And now Dalglish. Oh, and a good save! What a lovely piece of football. Dalglish hit that, and that really would have surprised so many people. A beautiful shot. But what a lovely piece of goalkeeping, too, by uh, Peter Barotta. Ray Kennedy. And again, Dalglish is in there. And again, Barotta's there. Liverpool throw. 
and they are bringing on Jim Doherty and they are taking off Gary Stanley Gary Stanley has been playing up front but he's probably better known as a midfielder and so Jim Doherty from East Stirling comes on for his first game for Chelsea 50,000 pounds he cost Oh, nothing with a header that goes for the Liverpool corner inside the last 10 minutes so McDermott with the corner for Liverpool Ray Kennedy going in there oh! he's grown in confidence Barotta as this game has gone on and he looks at the moment capable of grabbing anything final whistle nil nil and uh, again the crowd on the far side rising to Chelsea and the way they performed and Danny Blanchfeld goes away I would think pretty well pleased as he shakes hands here with Bob Paisley with the way his Chelsea team has performed and what about this Yugoslav goalkeeper Peter Barata who got better yes a thumbs up to the camera who got better as the game went on and pulled out one really superlative save from Kenny Dalgley